We already used them. In Splash. You want to use the Broncos in Circa Survivor as a two-point favorite. You're the one telling me it's going to be your biggest decision of the that season. Doesn't, I, we also lost every decision last week in the NFL. What kind Listen, of, log- what kind of logic is that? You're not sympathy for me in the sports. I'm not asking for sympathy. Season. You're saying you want to you, you pick it just because the book needs it. And I'm telling you, the book lost every game last weekend. So what kind of logic is that? That doesn't make any sense. Listen, I am just Go going off what you said before the record button got hit. Don't kill the messenger. No, we need we need the uh, Denver huge. I don't know why. I don't know why so many bets have come in on New Orleans. Is it but teasers with the Saints? Because that no. seems very obvious. There's a lot. I mean, yeah, there are there are teasers with the Saints, but most of the money plus three, minus one ten, minus one twelve, hmm. minus one fifteen, just straight bets. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust Bo Nix as a road favorite, but here we are. We booked the remember at the Westgate Superbook. We booked the Thursday night games at minus one hundred five. Oh, that's right. Five cent split. So right now, right now, actually, we're at Denver minus two and a half, minus one ten. New Orleans plus two and a half, even money. So we're taking a lot of money on the game because of that. That definitely helps drive handle for sure. Tough game to watch. New Orleans has so many guys hurt. It's yeah, ridiculous. In my, in my Splash Sports uh, quick picks lineup, I just picked all four unders. We let's do let's do that. We are still alive in the Splash Sports Survivor contest, even though Kelly. My partner, who I love, she had mentioned putting our nuts on the table, I think was a quote, and using the Titans, I believe you said I that. said, I said, there are, a, and I've said that several times, like you're either going to go with it or you're not. Mm-hmm. And we talked about the Titans. We, we talked about a couple of other dogs. We talked about, we, we like did talk about Jacksonville, though. We talked about Jacksonville. We did, and we didn't end up, no, end up doing that. So it was obviously. basically between the Chargers and the Titans. And the Chargers break every rule that I've ever had in regards to Survivor, not only a road team, but in the division. And I went on Google, and if you type in coin flip, there's yeah. like a little Google thing that flips heads or tails. And I said, tails, Titans, heads, Chargers, and it picked heads. So we're still alive. I think it's funny, in the Splash Contest, we have really made a point to not use most of the top teams. We haven't used Kansas City or San Francisco or Baltimore or Detroit. I mean, any of the teams that are like the consensus well, yeah, best. When you, weeks 12 through 18, when you have to have a double pick week, those are going to be tough. I mean, I haven't even gotten to really that in my spreadsheet, but like, let's just use for example, right? Miami, if Tua ever comes back week 12. Yeah, big, big. And effort. who else? The Raiders? I mean, it's going to be tough. Then you've got week 13, like, Maybe Dallas, maybe Cincinnati. Week 14, I literally have one team listed. Week 15, we've got the Chargers in Arizona. We already use the Chargers. Right, but I'm just saying I, this is our circus spreadsheet. So, like, I have oh, a, like a second okay, sheet. Fair enough. So, like, this is just what the spreads are going to be and who I kind of got it mapped out for. Uh, Christmas in Circa is going to be a nightmare. Good thing in Splash, we don't have to have that. But we still have to have a double pick week. So, it's like, we got to save Cincy. They're going to be over a touchdown favorite. Do we save the Rams for that week? Do we look at well, Tampa Bay see, and the division? This is where I don't really agree with you when it comes to this. This is we're in week seven right now. We don't. You say this team's going to be a touchdown favorite in week fifteen. I mean, I guess it's possible. What if, what if their starting quarterback gets hurt? What if another team's starting quarterback gets hurt? I well, mean, there's I, a lot of what ifs. I, I think you can look ahead a few weeks. I, I think it's funny that we, have yes, we did use Buffalo week one in Splash. But well, that's because we split it up. We did. Yeah, we did. Cincy, Good point. We did a few uh, Buffalo. We did a few Seattle. Like, you know, it it was smart. We had ten entries, hundred dollars an entry, so a thousand bucks. I we thought did. we had five. I thought Kelly yeah, and I Murray show had five. I had five personally, okay. and you had five. I'm sorry. But whatever. Um, the point is, we in the in the splash one, we've really tried to not use the big favorites for the most part, other than Buffalo, and yet somehow we've got here to week seven, and the two biggest favorites are. Buffalo and the Redskins, who we use week two, they beat the Giants. So we somehow, even though we've been trying not to use the big favorites, we have taken the two biggest favorites off the board away from us in week seven. The yeah. Rams are, are certainly an option. They're at home against the Raiders. The Raiders traded Devontae Adams this week. Very tumultuous week for the Raiders. Yeah, but here, May- can I ask you a question? Because you guys just left me on red last night like I was an idiot. It's like I okay. fell asleep. 
I've, I fell asleep. I didn't leave you on read. Summary, it was 10 p.m. East Coast. You fell asleep at 7 oh. p.m. Okay, I then, I, then, I, then I left you on I left you yeah, on Okay, so I text the group, Yumi, Chris, Joff, even though it's Joff, Jeff, yeah, my buddy. Joff. He could, if he was in his prime, he could play bench minutes in the WNBA. That's what okay, we were talking anyway, about. So let's go back. Off the bench, he'd be able to play minutes. He could get rebounds. Go ahead. Okay, so... We're in the circuit contest together, but then yeah. you and I are in the splash. Yes. So, like, you and I have a little bit of interest in maybe not playing the same in both. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. But I suggested, hey, maybe let's look at this Rams team just a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe getting rid of Devontae Adams. Maybe he was kind of a locker room, like Debbie Downer. Maybe yeah. bringing in Tom Brady into the mix as far as an ownership standpoint rejuvenates things. Am I wrong to think that? Is that like, I know you can't quantify it, but there, I don't, there are I don't motivating think factors there. Like, get rid of the guy with the negative attitude that wants to go play with Aaron Rodgers. You're bringing in Tom, some new leadership. I, I don't know. I've seen on that game, I saw a sharp bet come in. One second. I want to give you the exact number. At plus seven, minus 108. That was on Tuesday. Raiders plus seven, minus 108. But when we went to Rams, minus six and a half, minus 108. Sharp account laid that. Now we're at Rams six and a half, 16, minus 116. So okay. money coming in on both sides. I don't mind using the Rams. I just, all I was saying to you is selfishly, what I'd rather do is use Buffalo and Circa. We don't have them in Splash. Okay, but let's talk about Buffalo, right? So we have a Buffalo team off a short week. And, and, and yeah. if not for a guy named Greg Zerloin, 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 Greg uh, Zerloin. Greg Zerloin. And Aaron Rodgers' interception, the Jets could have easily won that game. Well, the Jets should have won that game. And I, you don't, you don't yeah, like it are. when I do a recap segment anymore. No, right? because the recap was you guys got obliterated. Moving along. Yeah. Every favorite uh, other than the Titans came in. Congratulations. Yeah, the, oh, I mean, I'm sorry. The Eagles didn't cover, but they won outright. Yeah, the Eagles won outright. So, yeah, I, I know, what you're, I know what you're saying, kind of. But look, Buffalo is minus four fifty on the money line. They are. They just played three consecutive games on the road. They're going home. It looks like a get-right spot for the Bills. The the and Tennessee. The only thing is, is like, do we see the Titans last minute go to Mason Rudolph? Do we see? Is any, that going to be mean, enough to turn the? I mean, well, I don't know if it's enough to win the football game, but sometimes when you have a quarterback like Will Levis who just continually turns the ball over, yes. changing that leadership position again, going back to that like emotional thing. Sometimes when we see teams get hurt, the injured player theory, like all the math guys hate these situations, but they're real, and we've seen them happen more often than not. I think what I what I said was that selfishly, I. I'd rather use Buffalo and Circa and the Rams and Splash because we don't have Buffalo and Splash. I or think that Washington gives football fucks. I think that gives me and you the best chance to move both of our entries forward. But so I'm still alive in my big, uh, big money. We chopped some, mm -hmm. and there's three of us left, and we all three used Philadelphia last weekend. And on Office Football Pool, it ranks it based on the spread, and we've picked all three of us remaining have had the exact same path. So everybody's going to pick Buffalo this week, but part of me or just, Washington or Washington. Right. But the top, it literally says on your drop down menu, it says Buffalo, Los Angeles Rams or Washington. It might be the other way around, but I think everybody's yeah. just going to pick Buffalo. So part of me wants to kind of zig a little bit and either take the Rams or the commanders and somehow hope that Buffalo loses that football game. Well, let me get, let me, I want to talk about two games on Sunday. I I really like the Ravens. I used them in some contests. I gave that out as my favorite play. I thought the Ravens were going to blow out the Redskins, and I was I really it. impressed by the Redskins. Even, even in the second half, they fell behind by two touchdowns on the road, and they battled right back. Yeah. I was really impressed with that team. And I then – has that team, at least from an offensive perspective, buzzing. I mean, they are doing really well. Defensively, and then we, we could – we could you argue. and I were between – our group was between Philly and Green Bay and Circus Survivor. It was really close. We landed on Philly because they were a bigger favorite, A, and we thought Green Bay had more future value, B. That's why we did it, even though we knew Green Bay would be, or Philadelphia would be picked more, which we hated. That's why we did it. It was three hours of torture – Watching that Eagle team win the game. Just you know what's so funny torture. you say that? So we're driving back to Off. Florida, and I watched zero seconds of that game. It was, dude, I just it, watched because I refused. 
Because, you know, I, Chris and I talked about this morning. He and awesome, I did a man. show. And this full disclosure, he and I, he's like, Cal, I, I wasn't that bad. And I go, you know, with with Seattle, I knew before the game kicked off, I was like, this is a loser. I then immediately right there. But with Philly, it wasn't even, even though it was torture for you guys, I never felt like, again, just score watching because I was watching the Packer game because mm-hmm. I actually had hard-earned money. That was the only game I actually bet on Sunday. It was interesting because I never felt like it was really that in doubt. It wasn't great. They didn't it was more, out. They didn't win it was more in doubt than you, it was more in doubt than you think. So Eagles are up. Eagles are up ten to three. It looked like they got a first down. They they spotted it a yard short of the first down on second down. So it was third and one. They run an empty backfield shotgun play. Hertz gets okay. sacked, makes it a fifty-seven yard field goal. That field yes, goal was blocked and returned for a touchdown. So that's two weekends in a row that one of our circus survivor teams had a blocked field goal field return goal for a touchdown. touchdown. It's yep, kind of amazing. I did text that. So then the Browns get the ball first in the second half. They went right down the field in a tie game. They missed a field goal. I know what you're saying. The Eagles were always a money line favorite in the live line, but the Eagles looked so bad. And meanwhile, like mentally, we're annoyed because the other team we considered, Green Bay, is just boat yeah, racing I Arizona. Annoyed. I was very happy. I was like boat racing good. Arizona. So, but. When the dust settled and all the games were over, I remember I texted you and said, now that all the teams won, now that Philadelphia won, now that Green Bay won, now that Baltimore won, I'm glad we used Philadelphia. Yeah, because we, we still have, have – look at them ever again. We still have Baltimore, and more importantly, or just as importantly, we have Green Bay. Green Bay might become our option on Thanksgiving night because we already used Kansas City. Dallas looks like shit. Yes, they do. I don't know how much of a, of a rush we're going to be in to use Dallas against the Giants, and then the Lions play the Bears in the first game. So, green, depending on Miami's quarterback situation, Green Bay might be our pick on Thanksgiving night, so it's very good for us that we didn't use them four days ago, although while the games were going on, I sure would have liked to have been rooting for Green Bay. For Green Bay as opposed instead to of Philadelphia. As opposed to Philadelphia. Uh, like I said, that's why I didn't watch. I was like, you know what? That was smart. I hate, I hate when you're with everybody. I joked – when the producers posted the graphic, I was like, us and everybody, we're just going to handshake it. it. It is what it is. Um, and this week, I think there's going to be a three-way tie for the top. I think a lot of people are going to use the Redskins. I think a lot of people are going to use Buffalo. And I think a lot of people are going to use the Rams. I think it's going to be mm-hmm. like probably 30, 30, 30%. And then 10% of the pool is going to try to zig when the rest of us are just going with it. A lot of a lot of people are going to use the Redskins because if you look at the Bills schedule, there are a number of other opportunities to use. Absolutely. Them. So and, uh, and there will be a lot of people using the Redskins. I don't I think that there will be some people that use the Bengals. I'm just saying the Bengals are a 6-point favorite. Cleveland is not a very good team. Bengals will get used. I don't I told Kelly I don't want to use and we're going to pivot into the sharp plays we've seen this week. I don't want to use the Colts. Because I so saw that is sh- the question: Are we going to use Washington or not? Because if we're not using Washington, unless we use them as a dog at home versus Dallas or a two-point favorite versus Tennessee, there's no other spots. Where, where is the really Where is the Tennessee game? Tennessee game is right after Dallas, Week 13. Where? They're both at home. Well, I don't think the Redskins will be a two-point favorite at home against Tennessee. I mean, we'll see. I'm telling you what the spreadsheet says. Well. You're, but you're looking. I think you're looking at like preseason numbers. No, I've been updating as we've been going along. Well, but again, you, we're we're talking about projecting what a line will be in week thirteen. I don't know who the Titans' quarterback is going to be in week thirteen. True. I, I I don't I don't know. I think that that's tough. That's tough. Not the Redskins are not going to be a huge favorite against the Titans. They're not going to be as big of a favorite as they are this Sunday against Carolina. So I think Which that's a fair. It's crazy because I, I what would you put? What would you put Tennessee, Carolina right now on a neutral field? Well, t- Tennessee would be favorite. C- Carolina yeah, is – not by much. Three? Yeah, but that that's kind of a lot, though. Three. Right. I mean, if in this league one, nowadays where every team is basically just jumbled in together, three points is kind of a lot. Okay. Let's do – because I people don't want to hear us talk about Survivor because they're really jealous that they're not in Survivor. You know, and people are going to. I get it. Gonna, I get it. They're, not, they're not enjoying the, uh, the ride that is still getting to be alive in multiple survivor pools. I hate us too. It is exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting to be in the splash one too. I, I tried to explain that to Brett's mom this morning. She was like, well, I don't understand. And I said, Lisa, there's less than 220 of us 
for $14 million in one. There's less than three of us for 70 grand in another. And there's less than 230 of us for a million dollars in another. And she's like, oh, well, now that you put it that way, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal. What would it take for you to call Brett's mom, mom? She's my oldest sister's age. So I'm never going to call her mom. I'm the youngest. So my mom was like in her thirties when I was born and Brett's mom was like 21 when he was born because he's the oldest. So it's like, curious. no, she and I are, you have to remember I'm older than Brett. So she's oh yeah, two years college football, my sister. college football. Let's talk. So some really good games this week. Alabama plays at Tennessee as they always do on the third, third Saturday of October. Georgia, Texas. So what we saw in the Georgia, Texas game, we didn't really see the money coming here. We were moving up with the market, but I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday. A lot of sharp money you came know in. What on... Have you been in too many like P and L meetings this week? No, no. I looked. Well, I'm in meetings all day, but I looked at the screen after I got out, and all day. the bets were not here. They oh. were. We were moving up with the market on Texas. So Texas is now four and a half point favorite against Georgia. Texas is kicking everybody's ass. You know, they crushed Michigan. They destroyed yeah, Oklahoma. Who have they played? You think Michigan's any good? Do you think Oklahoma's any good? Colorado well, we're gonna State. Fi- we're going to find out on Monroe. Saturday. We're going to find out because I don't, we always, every year I hear that, like, well, they haven't played anybody. Well, if they go out and they just kick everyone's ass, it's impressive no matter who you're playing, I think. That's fair. Nothing really on but the Tennessee Alabama. Tennessee was kicking everybody's ass until they had to start playing in the SEC. Who, who was doing that? Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, that's true, actually. Just Ten- saying. Yeah, right. no, Texas good. looked really good. I mean, but now we look back at Michigan, probably not that good. Oklahoma, not good at all. I, that's all I'm saying. Like, listen, no, I, gave, I, already gave, I already gave Texas their their national championship after they beat Michigan. I was like, congrats. But you, you, guys you hate Texas, though. You no, can't. I yes, don't. you do. No, yeah, you do. If I hated Texas, I would be betting Georgia plus five, which was available for over 24 hours, and I'm not doing it. All I'm just simply saying is this is the best offense they've faced all year long. I think Georgia's a little bit better than advertised. I think you're probably right about that. So, But I also think Georgia's kind of a square dog. Everybody, loves, I don't know a single person that's bet Texas this week. Well, but you you run in like you run in circles of like sharpie like sharp type people. Sharpie sharpish people. I'm trying. I'm just trying to find a tick account on that game for you. Okay. Even though I think tick accounts are mostly stupid and meaningless. Mostly, but, but you know, it's people like, like them. Games. People, people like them. them. Where is that game? Um, let's see. No, I mean it's it, to your point. There are more tickets on Tex on Georgia than Texas, and that is interesting. When you're talking about a team that's a dog, that's playing on the road against the number one team in the country, because everybody's argument this whole week has been, well, the game of the the game line over the summer was Georgia minus three, and I'm like, well, that's wow. a bad look, look. That's a bad argument because that market, that college game of the year market from July is not a very strong market. What do your limits look like at the Westgate? You're you're you're, uh, you're going to take a thousand dollars. Yeah, you take a thousand, and then you got to get to the back of the line. And, you and that's a again. fair. That's a pretty fair bet on something like that. Like that okay. is not there. I'll give some credit to some really sharp people. There are guys that pick those numbers apart. Oh, I know. And end up with great numbers. That's not a strong market. So I don't think it's a good idea to go back and say, oh well. This was the line back yeah, in June. Yeah, but the media loves talking about shit that doesn't matter. You know this. That's that's what they do. Well, that's neither here nor there. Let's do. Let me list a few college football sharp plays. Then you, give. What was the rum ham last week? Vanderbilt went out right. Wow, no shit, huh? Yeah. Wow. The chuckle rum ham people must we be happy with you. Four outright winners. So what are the chuckle we people should. saying? Yeah, they huh? should be really happy with you. Well, uh, I, I. I was with the neighbor. I had a three-hour break since you moved the show back, and we had a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, because I had the, I had the, the, like, the September oh, casino p and meeting. I, 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 do you think I should go to that or just skip it? So we, we smoked a brisket this afternoon, and we had a glass or two of wine. Um, what does that have to do with the chuckle rum ham people? I'm getting ready to tell you. So oh, my neighbor here in Florida was like, how do you chuckle? And I go, oh, I, I know a guy that's high up there. And she goes, oh, yeah, my buddy so-and-so that used to work at Red Bull works for them. I'm like, we know the same person, so we were like FaceTiming. And she's like, yeah, you got to love Kelly. She keeps drinking all these winners. He's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, Why is that outright underdog winners is super fun, right? Cal was great. Vanderbilt was great. Western Kentucky was just downright gut-wrenching. 
you know, yeah, that was a bad one. There, there's was some, Western... there some tough losses, but like the spread was never in doubt. FAU was never in doubt. There's a couple, there's a couple duds, but yeah, so far I think I think we're having a great relationship. And next we're gonna have a chuckle tailgate at K State KU, and nice. We're gonna see what eighty proof. Uh, fruit punch flavored liquor does to KIV. Uh, cause did you have you invited my friend Andy Samuelson to that game? No, I have not. Why but, not? But if Ariel Epstein does not end up coming Ariel. because the Yankees are in the World Series, yeah, I may ask him if he would like to join us. I think you should invite Andy, he's a good kid, but right now I don't have an extra ticket, so you, you gotta wait. You can't be like inviting people and then right. uninviting people. That's very rude. Plus, his team's gonna get boat race. Does he really want to be there? Like, people might want to beat him up because I might want to beat him up. All uh, right, he, he's pretty tough. He's from Wichita, Kansas, which uh, that I've been he's not from like real Wichita, though. Like, he's from like no, he went to Wichita, he went to Wichita East High School, which I've been led to believe is really north. Big deal. Wichita North is harder than East. I don't know. She went there in like the seventies. <laughs> I don't think Andy was that far after that. Um, Miami. No, this was that, some... like that that KU sweatshirt that was like older than me. It was like oh, yeah. that was it, was, it was like so vintage. I was like, good. Yeah. I'm glad she's finally getting rid of that ugly thing. This one surprised me. Miami got Miami, Florida got bet up from minus four to minus five at Louisville. That's an early game. I had I, I thought Louisville was going to be a popular. A popular play, and they have been with the public. Not even on my list. But Miami See, got better. What's that, Kelly? I don't hate Miami. Wake you Forest. Know, won that game. Wake Forest plus two at Connecticut is another one. Uh, Kentucky plus one at Florida. That's a game where the favorite is flipped. Florida, man, Florida's got a tough schedule. Florida. The, is that yeah. why they haven't fired Billy Napier yet? I've been trying to figure God, that out. They, they, I feel like every week they're involved in some dogfight of a game. Michigan, minus two and a half at Illinois. And then this one, this one made the most sense to me of the ones I saw. Arkansas, plus three at LSU. LSU, what a win for them on Saturday night against Ole Miss. Arkansas, plus three? Yeah. Well, is that, like that number's gone now. Well, of course it is. But you but, know what? Yeah. Off this football pool, you can still play stale numbers. So... Okay, well, I'm, I'd be very happy for you. But I'm just telling you, that number's gone Thank here. You. And then this was an interesting one while we were recording earlier. Notre Dame is playing Georgia Tech at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta on Saturday at 12, uh, 3.30 Eastern. This game was 8.5. It got as high as 11.5, 12.5 because know. there were rumors that the, the quarterback for Georgia Tech wasn't going to play. Now, yeah, I... well, hold on a second. Now some really sharp accounts – just in the last hour, are coming in and they're betting on Georgia Tech. That makes me believe they think he's going to play. Yeah, that sucks because I looked they at them think as he's a double-digit play. dog, and you're right. I heard some of those said rumors, and I thought, yeah. you know what? This isn't worth it. If these guys – I mean, I, look, I have no knowledge of anything. If these guys are playing Georgia Tech, they think the kid is going to be in a quarterback for the Yellow Jackets. They play Notre Dame. Notre Dame had a first-round pick, uh, projected first-round pick cornerback. He got hurt this week, or last week, I should say. They shut him down for the season this week. So he's out, obviously, on Saturday. Big game for the Fighting Irish. Do you want to do You want to do your, your chuckle ham and your the, the hottie? The hottie's only a threesome this week, right? Well, it is. And, I, and actually, I feel really bad because, again, the lines have just plummeted. Like, do you feel I, I like you're, are, are you, like, are you using stale numbers no, to, to upset people? No, I am giving out games on Wager Talk okay. on a Wednesday. I'm putting them in the Picket Sports app. Okay. Everybody can see it. And then like I go to, I do chuckle, double digit underdog from Wednesday, post it on Thursday. I do the quote unquote hottie threesome for the Superbook on Thursday to post on Friday. And I feel really bad because some of these lines have just been completely decimated. Why did you? Why did you say "quote unquote" hottie threesome? What does that mean? Isn't well, that not, what it's, not what it's called anymore? But like, it's what you call it. So I just am going with it. Please give uh, give me the three teams, please. Three teams: Maryland, your favorite state, plus mm -hmm. seven. Maryland. Michigan State was six. Well, Maryland was seven and a half. Michigan State was six and a half. You now ever down five and a half? Have you done a single hottie threesome this year without Michigan State? I love them as an underdog. Okay. I love yeah. them. I love, I'm sorry. I literally say that in the video. I'm like, 
I love Jonathan Smith. In case you guys have not been following along all season long. I should not have interrupted you. What's, what's the third one? Uh, Houston. Houston. Okay, so Maryland, Sparty, Houston. Okay, and, and what does this thing pay? 25 to 1? 22 to 1, but you're going to boost it to 25 to 1 because to I feel awful and I don't it. ever give out parlays under 25, 25 to 1. To 1. I'm going to have – I don't know how to do stuff like that, right? I mean, I – I Sure. But I can have one of our guys – yeah, because well, the the guy who was supposed to be in charge just like up and quit middle of the football season. Like, how unprofessional! No, no, no. He, oh, well, you know, you know what he's doing this weekend? He's going to Alabama, Tennessee. Of course he is. Why oh, on what? earth would he be working during a college football season? Oh yeah, I know. Why would a sportsbook employee be here on one of the biggest Saturdays of the year? I, I, have, no I have no idea. He will be at that game. I'll have one of the other youngsters set that up for you. Do you want to go to the National Football League? Your best bet, your yeah, we can go to the National Football League. I, I really don't care much about it after last week. I get, said I'm very glad to have not what just got completely obliterated with everybody else that I know. I mean, like I, everybody I know got killed. Everybody. Uh, so well, you should have sent some of them in here. We could have used the money. I bet you could have. Uh, we didn't do very well on Sunday. Two bets. One is against right. you. You said you like the Ravens on Monday night. I already bet Tampa Bay plus three and a half. No, no, no. I said I liked the Ravens last week against the Redskins. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I like your best bet for this weekend. I, I'll do that show tomorrow with Sam. I got a couple. I, I haven't. I haven't got that far yet. But no, I did. Uh, so Ravens. You can't tell our audience. I really. I honestly don't can know. You tell us who your top three is. Who do I like this week in the NFL? I like. I think Green Bay is going to beat the uh, the Texans. Okay. Um. Let me think. You know who I think is going to win? I think the Jets are going to beat Pittsburgh on Sunday night. Wow. I really do. Okay. I, I think the Jets are going to beat Pittsburgh. But I got a. I mean, is Aaron Rodgers going to throw an interception? Is Greg Zerline still like kicking? Well, trust me. Uh, you, I had. I. You know, Greg, I had the Jets. Greg Leg. Wasn't his nickname Greg the Leg? Like, what you the know that I that? had the Jets in uh in the big contest in town last week. Ugh, and I oh, and by the way, I had them in the in that same contest the week before when they lost in to Minnesota in London. So obviously, don't listen to me when it comes to the fair, Jets. I've lost twice point. in a row. You're, you're a Jets homer these days. All right, uh, what? Vikings minus two and a half is my best bet, and I okay. also like Tampa Bay plus three and a half on Monday night. Okay, well that that actually does line up because we uh, I've listed a few plays here that we saw sharp money on. I mentioned that they played Raiders plus seven, knocked down a six and a half, then they bet it back up. So probably want to throw that out. Jacksonville minus four and a half. Oh. I can't I can't bet that game. I'm not doing no. it. No, I'm not doing it. My uh, in the millions contest, my record seventeen and thirteen, which is not great. It's not terrible. Seventeen and eleven domestic. Zero and two in London. 17 and 11 stateside. Domestic. What is it, a wow. beer? 17 and 11 is pretty good. 17 and 13 is not so good. Uh, Miami plus three and a half. That game, or they're playing at Indianapolis. Mm. We mentioned that one. And then the Monday night game. When we first opened it, Ravens at Bucks, they took Bucks plus four and a half a few times. Knocked us down to three and a half. And then the late game, they put the over. Chargers, Cardinals, over 42, over 42 and a half. What was the game after Jacksonville? I missed it. It was Miami. Sorry. My, I, I, I rushed Ooh, through that. Miami, we had already talked about it earlier in the show. Miami plus three and a half at Indianapolis. Because you and I, we had been discussing potentially using the Colts and Survivor. No, and I we did you, not discuss it. I, it's I on know. the list, but I, I'm, I'm and not. Now, and now Richardson apparently is going to play quarterback. Oh, I yeah. missed that. I think Colts are, are out. I think they're out. Remember when we bet a nice preseason number on the Colts? I have a bet on the Colts to make the playoffs. Great. That bet's not dead. They're three and three. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, stop. They look awful. Anyway, they, their entire team is injured. Yeah. Well, so were the Vikings, and yet here we are. So are the Saints, man. The the, the injuries to the New Orleans Saints are just unbelievable. So why like, the hell is everybody betting them tonight? I, I think it's I think it's the the con. Well, a when you have minus one hundred and five both ways, it's almost impossible to not have a good number on one of the two teams. Okay. And B, I think people are like, this Bo Nix kid's got to prove it to me. Yeah, I on same. the road in an NFL game. Same. We'll see how he looks tonight. I'll, I'll be, be watching cheering the for a six-seven final. I'll be watching the baseball game. Seven-six final, I guess. It's the National League Championship Series. Do you want to do there the mailbag? Okay. 
Alby underscore lifts on IG says, what's it like watching a game with KIV when she has action on it? It depends where I'm at. If I'm at the Westgate Superbook, I'm on my best behavior because I do not want to upset John Murray. It's not true. Um, I remember watching <laughs> a – but th this is so unfair to Kelly because it was such a ridiculously horrible loss. Like any person would have been upset. I'm talking about that Duke-Louisville – Big Monday game. Yeah, but we were we were at Naked City uh, office bar by then. But you were upset. Yeah, that's fine. I was very upset. I, well, I well I you should have, have been, been upset. upset. They were up by twenty Bowl, points. Right? Who wouldn't be upset? But you, I did a show with you. I did a show with you on Wager Talk on Sunday morning. That my my pug Mario actually appeared on. He's a good guy. He was cute. Uh, and you, you're you didn't sound good. And you said it was because you had been partying all night, yelling at the TV during the Kansas Not State Colorado. Not partying all night. I had had some margaritas, okay. and the sounds K State like game was on super late, and I was like a getting a too. little frustrated with the second half play from the Wildcats. And so then I had a couple more margaritas, and I didn't feel very good when I woke up on Sunday. That all. All but of those I'm things good, sound like I'm partying. I'm a good person and a good employee, and I would never not show up to work because I was hungry. Oh, you, I didn't say that. You, you, it was a good show too. You were right on time. You did a good job. I just said you didn't sound great because you're. I didn't you're, feel great. Yeah, that's all I said. Okay, next question. At David Hahn twenty seven on G says, "How does John Mil Murray feel like he treats his employees? Right, How do you yeah. feel like I David Hahn? Like uh, that's a familiar great. name. I don't know who that is. I don't." I, I like I, I can't get to know every employee by name. Oh, so, stop. so a lot of it's a lot of it's There's very general. You guys have like 10 employees left. A lot of it's very general. I'll go out there and I'll say, hey, I hear you're doing a great job for us. You know, and so so and so very vague. So I would say I you're such a smart ass. In the case of David Hahn, I would say I, I treat him. I met David and very there well. were some really funny uh Words exchange in the risk room with Andrew Babakitis. Yeah, I, he's a funny guy. Um, is, what, what, an, very funny. what an inappropriate question from David. I, David, I that I feel like compared to what David said in the risk room that day was very appropriate. Well, David's got a big mouth. He, he's a fine young man. At Steve Adams seven hundred two on X says, does adding Devonte Adams make a huge difference for the Jets? Do they do you have to adjust their odds? Who's more likely to make the playoffs? The Jets or the Colts? I, I think you have to say the Jets are more likely to make the playoffs than the Colts are. The That's Colts have good. so That's many not guys. What I wanted to hear. Well, the Colts have so many guys hurt right now, and but but the Jets aren't any good. The, but the they Colts fired are, their coach and still couldn't win a football game. Like we were just talking yeah, about like emotional spots. That's true. a huge emotional spot, and they still couldn't win a football game. The Colts are looking up at another problem. The Colts have is they're looking up at Houston, who's five and one, but. Uh, you you could actually argue that the Colts have a better chance of getting into the division race because the Jets are two and four, Buffalo's four and two, and Buffalo already won in New York. So the Jets know. still have to go to Buffalo. I don't think Devontae Adams makes a huge difference to answer his first question. I don't. It was really funny. Like he just like pops up behind Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, bro, did you stay the night over there? Vince in PGH, halfway through the college season. What is the book and Kelly view as the top four rated? Teams. Ooh. Ooh. Kelly. Uh, you want me to go first? Sure. Texas is number one. See, I agree. That's what I wrote down. I would say number two this is tough because mm -hmm. how much do we say that Alabama loss hurts, or excuse me, that Vanderbilt loss hurts Alabama? Mm -hmm. And then does that also make Georgia's loss worse because they lost to Alabama? So there's an argument there between who is two, three, and four. And I can't quite decide. I think two is Ohio State. And so, I, but they just lost to I know Oregon. Lost. So I know how that, are but they I, the number two power rated team if a one game sample size? I yeah. don't think Oregon's a top four team. So that's I don't know you, about that. Oregon's pretty good. I think I have them number five. That's okay. So you space. have. I have it. Who's I your four? Well, I technically have it uh, the way I did it for Outkick this week. I did Texas, okay. Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State. I can't. I, I think I would go Oregon over Alabama, but I, I mean, we're this is a we're very similar. Um, Ohio State, they probably should have won that game. That was an awesome game, by the way. That was awesome. Well, I uh, felt really bad because like Will Howard got a lot of, a lot of bashing. I noticed on social media. I was waiting for that to happen. Is it all his fault? You know the the, the five the, second runoff. I don't know. That was kind of crazy by Dan Lanning to if he to did do that, that on purpose. I mean, that was 
that was like kind of a like one of those like trick plays yeah if you will so i think it's kind of unfair to an extent to like truly penalize one player for that well we were they were ohio state was probably going to win the game they were probably in field goal range and they could call for the offensive pass interference penalty yeah, that which help. is a big that's a big penalty in college 15 yard penalty knocked them out of field goal range i'm not saying it wasn't a good call i'm just saying that that was a really critical call there i would still have ohio state Boy, Georgia's good too. It's really, it's really cool. Like, it's really tough. I, I have to make Georgia, yeah. like it's almost like one, and then two A B, and then like three A B, like three A B. You're three making this A-B, very complicated. Like, it's got to be like Ohio State three A, Oregon three B, but three A. Okay. Listen, I've I've complained so much about conference realignment, but look what it ended up in. Last Saturday night, we had Ohio State yeah. at Oregon in a Big Ten game. This Saturday night, we get Georgia at Texas in an SEC game. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right. Brett Miller wants to know – Brett Brett underscore Miller on 92 on X wants to know, do you see a path at all for Army-Navy to be in the playoff – and if one of them gets in, will that make the game on December fourteenth not matter as much? Well, isn't there a isn't there a possibility? And maybe I'm wrong about this, but isn't there a possibility that they could play each other in the conference championship game, the week before the Army no, Navy game? No, because they have to play no? Notre Dame, right? Well, Notre Dame's not in a conference, though. I don't know. Like, it, like what I'm saying is, I think what would impact the Army Navy game more would be if they played each other in the previous week for the conference. And then at the Army Navy game. Oh, sorry. Moving around too fast. I don't think that uh I mean if anything, wouldn't it wouldn't they call it the Army Navy game matter more if one of the team was playing for a spot in the playoff? Right? I don't know. The co- I don't know. Tough uh, question. Hold on. This year, the team's played December 14th at FedEx Field, the home of your Washington football, whatever the fucks. Football team. Army, Navy, are, for the first time, they're part of the same league when they both join the AAC. Mm-hmm. So uh, they could play in the, the AAC. And the AAC change. title game is December 6th. So I got bad information from Lou Air Producer. The playoff game, the playoff will be announced before the game on December 14th, but it, these two could play oh. each other in the American Athletic Conference this year. So Lou, what, the, what the question is, that that was the detail I didn't know. So good question from Brett. So he's saying if one of them knows they're in the playoff, are they going to even bother trying in the Army Navy game, knowing that they've got a playoff game on deck? That's wow. interesting. I would say maybe it, maybe it's famous last words. I would say they would still go all out in the Army Navy game. It's Army Navy. They're the two biggest service academies. They're the biggest rivalry going right. I can't imagine. I just He's can't imagine one of the service Army academy teams Army going, Navy. we don't care about the Army-Navy game. Yeah. We're going to pull everybody out and get ready for the playoff. I, I, I don't see that. they play each other back-to-back weeks? That's kind of shitty. Well, that would be – that's weirder, I think. That yeah. I, And that seems more likely, too. Yeah, it does after what I was just reading. Yeah. All right, Money Party of Four on X says, is there a simple way to explain return on investment to a novice? For example, when someone posts, they're up 0.25 units. Well, Kelly – Kelly likes to use unit. What is your unit now? Like ten thousand? No. So if Kelly, if Kelly said she was up <laughs> two well, and a like, half units, she'd be up twenty five thousand dollars, right? Two and a half units. That's what these people are saying. I, I, I think the whole ten thousand dollars. Yes. I think. <laughs> I think the unit thing is are silly. You trying to get me audited? Come on. No. Is it too I many swear. rich jokes? I'm sorry. I told somebody that earlier with our fantasy football. They're like, why does it like the, the commissioner just keep it? I go, you want to keep $135,000 in your PayPal for nine months? That's a great yeah. way to get audited. I'm That's good. a lot of money. So when these people talk about units, they're, they're, they're not giving you their bet size money party of four. They're just saying like, if you bet exactly the same amount of money on all of my picks, uh-huh. If my if your unit was ten dollars, you'd be up twenty five bucks. If your unit was a hundred thousand, not saying anybody on this show's unit is a hundred thousand, not saying that, not saying that about Kelly, you'd be up two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. All question. right, Gary in UFC fifty one on access is the Bears the worst team in their division? Yes, that's how they worded the question. Um, yeah, Are the I, Bears? Guess, I mean, Wait, I guess it's funny how people like in like soccer and other things they like speak in third person. Yeah. Uh, it's very odd. So is that actually incorrect English? 
is the Bears the worst team in their division? Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, are the Bears. Been. You're the are English major. I'm asking you. No, that that's a bad. Right, but like sometimes they speak like singular about like right. football teams, and I think it's very odd, and I don't understand the the. Are the Bears the worst it? team in the in the NFC North? I mean, that's pretty unfair because apparently the NFC North is like awesome top to yeah. bottom. But I have but, the Packers winning that division, and it's going to be the Vikings. I would say that of the four teams, the Bears are the worst, but the Bears are pretty good. Minis- the big advantage that Minnesota has, though, is if you look at the schedules, the Lions play that first-place schedule. They still have to play all these really good teams. Minnesota's got a really easy schedule. If they win on Sunday against Detroit, They're going to. they become a big favorite, not only to win the division, but to get the number one seed. And okay. that is something I never would have believed was possible. Well, not not, not, not me all. either. All right, Brian Wise, he's not a burner account, he told me mm-hmm. on X, but he's mm-hmm. still got 45 numbers after. Seems like career. a uh, it seems like a burner account, honestly. That's what I said, and he tweeted yeah. me, he's like, this isn't a burner, this is what X gave me. And I'm like, I, I don't think I, Brian I don't Wise 44. I'm sure that yeah. was available. Do you think John Murray's Mountaineers can keep up with Kelly's K-State Wildcats? Is K-State right for an upset? Um, what is our side I, I, I don't, We were supposed I, to go to this game, and now I don't know, like, dude. I, I, you know, we, we really. Are you going to get on the fire, Neil Brown, when you guys get fucking? Boat no, racing? I, I don't want to be one of those those guys. But I Why? mean, your coach sucks. Hey, Kelly, that's not nice. He said winning doesn't matter. He's he doesn't suck. He's just extremely low energy. He's a low energy person. Uh, we needed West Virginia big on Saturday against Iowa State, and they let us down. Big time. I, oh, you didn't say bigly? Bigly. I was waiting for you to say bigly. Now my voice even goes, who does the West, every Sunday, who does the Westgate need bigly? Because one time, instead of writing him back, all I did was copy and paste your message. And he goes, what the fuck is bigly? I got a lot of, who who said that? Steven. Steven. Oh, He's I know the who one that, that wanted to buy into our, our uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. survivor. Seems like it. You know, you got you got a lot of friends. You got a lot of you got a lot of people you you interact with. Sorry. I I would I we'll have to make a bet. Kelly and I will have a bet of some kind on this game. I'll take West Virginia plus the three. We'll come up with something fair. But remember, we we're on two different planes. You know what I mean? So like, I can't bet something that is meaningful to Kelly. Kelly's rich, right? So we got to no, keep. Like- like okay, so for example, in office football pool, I just laid a two and a half with yeah. Kansas State because there was a stale number. I'm not going to bet it in real life. Okay, well, the, I was just going to have us use whatever the the Westgate sportsbook number is right now. Right. Kansas State's minus three two. And a half plus three. Okay, but three. so how about this? I'll give you the hook because I don't want to push. Okay. And that seems fair because your team sucks. Well, that's nice, uh, Kelly. And uh, what what's our wager? Why don't we have our producers come up with some options? We'll post a poll. Remember, we're, we're supposed to be engagement farming. Remember that conversation we had? Yeah, Elon doesn't reward us for that anymore. So, like, I can't put the Chiefs at, like, number eight, even though they probably are now. We're supposed maybe, to be. Maybe I was really smart when I, when I took that test. I think we'll, we'll do the poll. We'll, we'll let the people decide. And okay. uh, next week, you're going to be – next week, you're going to Kansas. What day are you going? On one Friday. So we can do the show Thursday. Oh yeah. Listen, and I'm a professional. You are a professional. I hope that uh, I hope no one thinks I was saying Kelly didn't do a good job on Sunday morning. She did a great job. I was and not well. She I got was to... like, please make this end. Please make this end. And then I had to go hang out with children. I didn't get to go back to bed. Brett would not let me go back to bed. I had to go hang out with children. And I was but like, you got to you got I'm to see hell. Big Mario on the show. That that was the highlight. He kind of gave yeah. me that like rejuvenated sense yeah. of like, oh, yay, there's a dog. And then it like just all the little bit of energy that was left in my body just left after that segment. <laughs> well, the unfortunately for Mario, he he's now banned from the Westgate risk room because the, the Sunday he came in. Did he pee on the floor? Absolutely not. No, oh. he did not. But we couldn't get a single underdog to win a freaking football game all day. I pee on the floor. I was like, he oh, did not pee on. Mario's Mario's good, man. He's he's good about that stuff. Boy dogs are not good. They like to Mario is on everything. He 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 doesn't pee everywhere. He eats everything. He eats like my patio furniture and yeah. I mean, he just he's a, he bites and chews. He he's bit my mess. hand. But he doesn't. He, he's he's very well potty trained though. He does not do that. Okay. He doesn't go to the bathroom in the house. 
I will talk to you probably a lot over the next couple of days because we have you to make two survivors. Did you again picks. or did you find me a fill in yet? For what? For last call. Oh, shit. See you then. Oh. Oh, all right, yeah, I'll do the show on Sunday. Damn it, you know, Liverpool's playing on Sunday morning. I'll yeah, do the show can. Sunday morning, but we'll be talking in the meantime about our survivor picks, kid. I'll talk to you soon. Ah.